man, these is these geese. Look at these things. Swans. I guess they're swans actually, which would probably be in the geese family. Bird bridges. Bird bridges were a bird bridges network. Hanging out with Terrence, and we just ran across these amazing looking um, geese here. I'm not gonna be careful. I'm gonna be kind of careful. I don't want to go too close on them, as you can see. They are just gorgeous. And the mom and dad, it's funny how the, the parents just went on the other side. And I'm just chilling right here by them. It's almost like there's a trust. And I really feel there's a golden goose anointing, a birthing from pioneers to arise and receive a new touch. But something's going to be very violent. There's the golden goose. You look like, I think it was a, in Ireland or somewhere in Europe. But there was like a, a whole, move of the Holy Spirit. And it was like, referred the Holy Spirit as the golden goose. Wild. That's what we're going to see this side of, the, of this generation is the wildness of God. But also, just saying that uh, in America or other cultures, or poor in the Bible, actually, they referred as the Holy Spirit came ascended as a dove. The Holy Spirit is not a dove. The Holy Spirit, you know, is a person. Part of the Godhead. So anyway, I'm just saying is that the goose, look at them. These geese or these swans were just relaxing. And now they're about to go out, hit the water. And I just want to show how the Holy Spirit will come in the form of any way he needs to. And he'll confirm his word even through nature. But look up that. It's a revival that happened and they referred to the Holy Spirit as the golden goose. And I know these are swans. I know. I get it. But it's all in the family. Y'all take care. Let your destination be blessed. And I speak that over y'all. Let your destination be blessed in Jesus' name. Bert Bridges, Bert Bridges World, Bert Bridges Moment. Have a good one.